Hi, how are you? It's Trapsin here, and welcome back to our adventures with Elsent the Worgen Hunter. Today we are back at Light Shield Tower in the Eastern Plague Lands, and we are going to continue questing here. We have two more quests with Vex Tool. This guy looks pretty cool, actually. Interesting looking troll. He doesn't... You can kind of see through his head. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Yeah, I thought he looked a little interesting. Wonder what's wrong You'll with him. Needing something. You do not need to fight me, Borgen. I mean you know ill will. Tomorrow be another day. Honor and strength. My name is Vex Tool, and I have watched you fight, Worgen. You are strong. You killed my master, Zaldar. But this does not bother me. I value strength over any loyalty that I held for him. I value strength over anything else. Prove to me one final time your strength, Worgen. Do so, and I will lend you my strength for whatever purpose you may desire. What the heck? That was a trap. It's a trap. Let me get our pet out here. There you go, guys. Set down another trap. Who's trapped now? We press on. This guy has no honor. I don't know why this quest is called Honor and Strength. Yes, you are indeed strong, and I submit to you. I will join you and your friend, the Worgen. My strength is yours. Oh, wow, we leveled up. Level 44, guys. I don't think we got a talent from that. No. No more level. Alright, so I guess we got his strength. That was kind of interesting. I want to change this. Pamela's doll, it's, it's, it's fun, but it doesn't really give us anything. I don't even see Pamela with us right now, so we're going to change our buff here. I think we got some new ones, maybe. Vextool's armbands. Vextool has left some of his wrappings with the caravan. Surprisingly, he was courteous enough to keep them folded and separate from everyone else's belongings. Vextool values strength over anything else. Leaning in close, you can sense some of his residual strength emanating from these armbands. Exel's armbands grants a chance to knock enemies a short distance in the air on successful attacks. We'll give it a try. We'll give that a try. I was going to take the XP one, but we'll try uh, Vex Tools Get buff here. We did. Wearing Vexel's armbands, you feel stronger. So let's see what happens when we fight this mob and yeah guys there's a lot of bots it's in season of discovery i assume there's bots in cataclysm too but mostly season of discovery is littered with bots and they're all of them are level 60 they've leveled faster a lot faster than me and um they're all hunters a bunch of level 60 hunters bunch of bots. Yeah, I don't know, really know how Blizzard plans to deal with this. Hopefully they find a way. NetEase in China, which is uh, the company that oversees World of Warcraft in that region, has a plan. And their plan is, is they're going to give players Blizz, uh, battle net currency, so like actual money, but just you can only use it uh, in the battle net store. And the way you get it is if you report players that are bots and they get successfully, you know, eventually banned. I've done that a few times, actually in videos. I think I reported some bots on Trap and Trav, which is my other hunter playthrough. It's a dwarf hunter. And uh, Blizzard said, you know, they sent me a mail back and said, thank you for reporting this guy. He was actually a bot. So who knows? Maybe in North America, they'll start giving us a little bit of battle net currency to report bots, but I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt that would happen in North America. It'd be awesome if it did. 
people would report bots like crazy. It'd be, I don't know, it'd be like a farm you would do. You just go around hunting bots. And also they are getting rid of uh, X, like uh, d transferring characters between accounts. So say you have another account and you want to bring it, bring a character over from that account to, the, to your main account. You're not going to be able to do that anymore. And I guess it's because of uh, what they're doing with Warbands. This place looks pretty cool. There we go. Wow, look at that statue. Is that the uh, Tyrion? Ordering? Yeah, I think it is. Great to meet Can't you. believe it. We're literally feet away from becoming sworn members of the Argent Crusade. We'd be in there already if it weren't for Terranar's dallying. If he doesn't quit chatting with the locals soon, I'm going to get go. Going to head in there myself. Safe travels. A boyhood dream. I've always wanted to join the crusade. It's the reason I became a paladin. Years of practice honing my craft. I'm finally ready. Terranar thinks he's ready too, but I'm not sure. He's a bit of a showboat. And he never took his lessons seriously. Still, we promised we'd do this together. And here we are. Shall we head into the capital now? Let's see what he's saying here. Gibbon Goldbrides. Come on already. Let's go. Terranar, you dolt. The chapel is 20 yards away. Watch Let's get moving. Back. He's chatting up, to, uh, lies ahead. chatting up the guards here. All right, so let's go inside the chapel. Here's Light Soap Chapel. They have fortified it with walls and sort of made it into a fortress. It's quite different than the way it was in vanilla. Welcome to Light Soap Chapel. You wish to join the crusade? Very well. We have plenty of tasks for new recruits, but first, a test. Be careful. Argent called the trial of the crypt. Find our chapel, you will find a small crypt inherited with interred within the bodies of our fallen heroes, those who gave their lives in the war against the scourge. Their spirits are at peace, but they return intermittently to test new members of the order. Three of you may test together, enter the crypt, then read from this scroll, Lord Raymond George. My predecessor will preside over your test. Go with honor, friend. Okay. Pick up this quest too, why not? The Brotherhood of Light has a history of brash, thoughtless decisions. They bridged a gap between the Scarlet Crusade and the Argent Dawn. They were among the first to plunge into Northern, while many of us lingered behind. However, they also have a history of getting results, which I respect. They fight on two fronts now, one battle in Stratholme, and another more immediate battle in the south at Tyr's Hand. I suggest you speak to Angela De Santos at Tears Hand. You may be of service. Alright, so he's talking about uh, the Brotherhood of Light. I think they're going to be coming back in um, The War Within or, or one of the expansions, Midnight or The Last Titan. A lot of talk about the, the Brotherhood of Light or the the Empire of Light, whatever they call it. I guess the Scarlet Crusade is connected to it, but I think the Scarlet Onslaught they went out to Northern right first before the Alli the Alliance and the Horde did. They abandoned the Plague Lance. Okay, so we have to read th this uh, incantation. There we go. And there is uh, Lord Raymond George. Good luck. Let the trial begin. Rise champions, rise and meet these three in combat. I can't believe we're actually fighting for the crusade. If we slow down just a bit, this is too easy. Oh, there's a lot of us here. Um, Yeah, if you want to group up, let's do it. That looks pretty cool. I'm 
There's a knockback from uh, Dextil's armbands. Shot him with explosive shot, and he kind of like got knocked back. That was kind of cool. It's pretty good for a hunter. Gives you uh, just more range. A lot easier with four add-ons. A little too easy. All right, your warm-up is complete. Now the real trial begins. Here we go. See if George has what it takes. Take us down. Here we go, the trial of the crib complete. Well done, heroes. You have passed my test in combat. Gilneas will rise again. All right, back to the chapel we go. Anything in the mail? No. Nothing in the mail. We haven't really made any sales in a while, so... It is what it is. Remember that your ancestors always watch over you. As a brother of this Argent Crusade, you'll join a family that has a long line of such fallen ancestors. Their vigil and protection will be your strength, and you press forward against... As you press forward against the Scourge, congratulations, Terranar, Gidwin, and Elsa, and welcome to the Argent Crusade. The Alliance. Argent called the Noxious Glade. Froman's Mill to the north is infested with undead. The Noxious Glade, even farther to the north, is even more heavily infested. Despite their proximity to our chapel, we have been unable to completely remove them. Vigilance is key. Travel to the Noxious Vale and slay as many undead as you can find, and the cultists that roam among them. While there... Make sure to avoid Garganox, the flesh giant that roams the Vale. I suspect you are not strong enough to defeat him. You. You need some. Buried Blades. There are those who would say that the Argent Crusade is a thing of the past. I am one of them. But not because the Scourge have fallen. No, it's because of their stubborn ways. They become too much like the church that they seceded from. Too rigid, too governed by honor and order. This is what I'm trying to tell Bartholomew. Anyhow. Sure, it may sound a bit jingoistic, <laughs> but it makes for a good debate. Jingoistic. I wonder See what that around. means. The Noxious Glade is a quagmire, both literally and figuratively. There's enough scourge up there to give us trouble for the rest of both of our lifetimes. They can reanimate the weaker, weaker ones when they die, I'll send. They will never stop coming if we don't do something. Take these blades and drive them through the corpses of any Scourge troopers that you find. The blade is simple, but its enchantment will prevent the dead bones from being reanimated forever. Be careful. Okay. So there we go. We got a couple quests there. I want to see what the heck jingoistic means. It's characterized by extreme patriotism, especially in the form of aggressive or warlike foreign policy. All right. Talk to me. New word learned. Jingoistic. I'm what you call a capitalist, Morgan. <laughs> Moki and the bandage. Hey there. Interested in making a buck? I need to get a bandage. Well, actually, I got a friend who needs to get a bandage. Act. Well, actually, let's just say it's complicated. But if you get this bandage, you make money, and so do I, and my friend, possibly other people. Sounds like there's a large chain of command here. Stephen Broman. Used to own a mill to the north, now he's dead. A zombie. The guy at the top wants to have the wrappings from Broman's body. What's the matter? You don't like money? Off with you. Seems like a lot of people are getting a cut out of this. So should I pick up some more quests or should we just go... Go to the next spot. See if any of these are connected. Kill Rattlegore and Skolomance. Yes, these are two uh, dungeon quests, I think. Yeah, a couple of these are dungeon quests. I think we'll just pick them up. Well, spit it out. Have a good one. So I think we'll probably do Skolomance and Strand at home. Why, why not? Oh. Gathering Walk some grubs. Go. 
I think that's it. Okay, well, we got a lot of quests. Save the Brotherhood of Light for later. That'll be kind of a cool episode on its own. I think today we'll check out uh, check out this spot here. Gathering some grubs is a quest we just picked up. So you got to carry on grubs and devourers of the region. Slay them and harvest 15 slabs of carry on worm meat. We have problems maintaining our food supplies here in the Far East. So I guess they're going to eat some worms. Around here, the only manner of beast unaffected by the ravages of the plague are the carrion worms. While rather bland in taste, the meat of the worms can easily be preserved to last for months. We will need several hundred more pounds to be fully stocked. While you can find carrion worms all over the plague lands, they can be found in particularly high density to the south of the chapel. And remember, larger worms mean more meat. Okay, so we gotta go this way. My bad, guys. Just looking for the entrance there. Seems like somebody's already farming all of these. Uh, I wonder if we could put the blade in these guys. No, it's invalid. Did we get any other quests? We got one from that... Uh, That was it. I got a quest to go to the Badlands. Do that another time. Alright, slay some Scourge. What happened to our wolf? For some reason, dog's back. And our pet bars came back up too. I was gone for quite a while. I guess we'll go with Dog. Bringing him back for an episode. So let's check out this quest here. Hey, Wargan, I got a job opportunity if you aren't going to want to miss out on. We've been sent here from Fuselight, a new goblin town way down in the Badlands. Lots of money to be had down there. Yes, sir. Not nearly so many zombies or uptight Argent Paladin types. Nope, it's an untamed wilderness down there, and we're looking for someone like you to help us tame it. Wherever, you, whenever you're ready, we'll be waiting. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll check out that Goblin Town. Go to the Badlands. Wonder what the level range is. Check that out now. The Badlands is just here. All right? Yeah, 45 to 48. Not bad. Maybe we'll go there next when we're done with uh, the Plague Lance here. Do want to check out Stratholme, though. Stratholme and Skullmance would be kind of cool to do that at least once. I think we kind of gave up on. Scarlet Monastery. Got Dire Mall, Razor Fen Downs, Stratholme Main Gate. I guess Skullmance is kind of uh, it's not an option either at the moment. Maybe we missed out on that. Chattering Swarm. Oh, crap. Got to do that. There's too many of them here. Tago's going down. No, oh, what are you doing? It's crazy how much, how much, he, how long he can survive. It's kind of sad. I wish the dog could faint death too. These guys are just hanging out. Get out of here. All right, let's res our pet here. Seems to be a lot of them all together. 
And there's Garganox. Got 27k health. Not too sure if we can kill Garganox. It's not a part of our quest, so... I think we'll stay away from him. We seem to do a lot of damage, though. We do a thousand damage pretty quick. It's just will he completely wreck our... our pet? This isn't looking too good. I wonder how much health the swarm has. It's not too much. It's these, uh... It's these things you want to fight. Yeah, I wonder what town is there. I didn't know they had a town in the Badlands, the goblins. Maybe it's like a new gadget stand. The Badlands is a good place for us to go. We can actually uh, skin quite a bit there. If it's what I remember it being in vanilla, there's a lot of a lot of wildlife there. These cultists are kind of a pain. I'm gonna set up a trap here. off on this cultist. Skull mage. Where's the other one? Uh oh. Surprised we didn't get attacked. I think the knockup is probably an interrupt that we get from Extral's armbands. Oh, there's another skeleton there near the cauldron. There's actually a few there. Let's go this way. There's a few assassins here. For some reason I can't get over this chain. Fight this cultist too. Thanks, how many more cultists do we need? One more. I wonder how botting is in Cataclysm. I assume all of Classic has botting issues. I don't really know how Blizzard will plan on dealing with it. I don't, I don't even know if that'll stop the bots really either, if they just get banned. The problem is they just pay like for another subscription, right? And then they're, they're right back at it again.
need something to detect the bots. And then it like bans them right away before they start making a profit from their gold farming. And it's funny, they, they tried to, another way they tried to combat it was with, um, was with this, you know, the, the WoW token. And I guess that's probably helped quite a bit. Maybe that's why people aren't really complaining about botting and cataclysm. And that's probably why we see it so much in Season of Discovery. Season of Discovery doesn't have, you know, a WoW token. Which is a good thing. But pretty much has a WoW token because people just buy bot gold. So if they can't beat the bots... And it doesn't make any sense. And what I think will probably happen is we'll probably just start, probably just see a, a WoW token in Season of Discovery eventually. Which isn't a good thing, but I know a lot of people would be upset if that happened, but I think that might happen eventually. But hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully they find a way to deal with bots. I would even download... Like just a, a tracking software to stop the bots on my computer, like a third party. I know a lot of people hate that stuff though because it is a little bit intrusive to have programs like that on your computer, but you know, if it's a program that detects botting programs, it's, it's I don't think it's that bad. So let's head back to Lights Oak Chapel. And we will turn in this quest. If there's uh, an inn there that lights up, there usually is. I think you can hurt there. You think they would have one now? I don't think they do, though. What are you looking for? I don't really see an in. There's a mailbox and a flight master. That's about it. Oh, there it is. There's actually an in right here. Step on up. We'll make this place our home. See you around. Need help? Anaria, show you return sooner than I expected, El. Excellent. We will continue our path into the north. Next, you will be completing similar tasks, this time be in careful. Northdale. Hey there. See you later. Our duty for the day is done. It is only a matter of time before we defeat the Scourge. Today, we made progress. So we're going to get a neck, six Agi, seven stamps. So it's a two stamina upgrade on our neck. Or a trinket. For the Alliance. We don't have any trinkets, so I think we might take the trinket, what can actually. I do for you? See you later. It's called uh, Omarion's Gift. It improves hit rating by nine, and then when, when we use it, it increases strength by 37 for 20 seconds. I think we'll take that. We See don't have around. a trinket, so. That was a good good uh good quest to do we just need one more trinket and we have a full set of gear but yeah guys that is going to be the end of today's episode next episode we will probably slay all these worms and then make our way down to see what's going on with the scarlet crusade and the brotherhood of light but as always guys thanks for watching keep your heads up later